Tell me about yourself. Okay. So, hi, my name is Rajiv Jadav. I am a digital marketing professional. I have over 10 plus years of experience in the field. I've worked with some of the best names in the business. I am currently the sales director at R Square Media, which is an award winning online visibility company who specializes in helping businesses and clients dominate Google page one by delivering multiple instances on page one, as well as creating original compelling content like animated videos, blog articles, etc., and also helps clients with their web presence like creating responsive websites, uh, blog articles, as well as other elements of uh, internet marketing like social media marketing. Uh, prior to setting up, uh, prior to uh, working with R Square Media, I was the senior vice president at Citibank, taking care of acquisition to support the cards business. And in that role, I launched two channels of acquisition for cards. One was the stream of commerce channel and the second was the prospect email channel. Uh, prospect email is uh, houses two other sub channels called the ITA and the ECM. ITA stands for invitation to apply and ECM is existing cards members. So those two channels were two sub channels which were part of the overall prospect email channel. Stream of commerce, the simplest way to understand this is if when you're at checkout on Amazon and you see this offer that says apply for this card and get $25 off your order or $50 off your order. So that's an example of a stream of commerce integration. So that's something that I pioneered whilst at Citibank. And before Citibank, I was the media director at Mindshare working on Unilever, did some tremendously pathbreaking work there, won a couple of awards. Uh, one, uh, we did, we won a silver webby for Axe for creating Asia's largest mobile uh, activation with uh, over 3 million brand interactions in a single month, uh, as well as we got into Limca Book of Records, which is India's version of the Guinness Book of Records for creating the world's largest online collaborative jigsaw puzzle with more than 25,000 active pieces and over uh, 2 million active users. Uh, and beyond the media metrics, uh, the both campaigns were extremely successful to the point of doubling the sales forecast for the product. Lipton, which was the launch of Lipton Green Tea, uh, resulted in all of the product selling out at all the retail outlets and all of them then doubling their order uh, the moment the, uh, the inventory was exhausted. So that was something that the client did not expect at all and they were pleasantly surprised. So that's just a small introduction as far as you know, a snapshot of some of the work that I've done in digital marketing. Uh, and I've been on both sides of the fence, been on the client side in whilst serving as the senior vice president at Citibank, as well as on the agency side at R Square Media, at Mindshare, at Leo Burnett, at Percept, and you know several other uh, agencies uh, that I've uh, worked with over the years. What are your strengths? Okay, so uh, my strengths are problem solving, effective communication, strategizing, project management, campaign planning, um, creativity, uh, collaboration, um, working well with others, entrepreneurial, self-starter. Those are some of the strengths. Uh, what are your weaknesses? Uh, uh, anal attention to detail, which sometimes can be annoying to others especially if uh, people view being a perfectionist is uh, potentially slowing down the process. Uh, other weaknesses involve uh, not doing too well with, uh, with people that are difficult to deal with. Uh, so 
I would never outwardly display that somebody is uh, is unpleasant, but internally it does get very frustrating, very, uh, you know, uh, trying when dealing with multiple different personalities, especially those that are extremely hostile and are always looking for a confrontation. So I have worked with many uh, people like that successfully so, but it, it's a weakness from the standpoint of internally feeling stressed out about it. Okay. What are your motivations for looking at the job market? So I've had an amazing uh, run at R Square Media. Uh, our, we recently won the 2017 Minority Business of the Year Award at R Square Media. So it was really, really amazing. Definitely a highlight. The other awardees included Con Edison and MTA. So definitely in great company. Why am I in the job market? Well, I'm looking, so I'm looking to get back into mainstream working for big brands. R Square Media is a <clears throat> is squarely focused on small business and oftentimes works with startups. While that is very interesting, I feel I'm ready uh, to work on those bigger brands that I worked on before, uh, those working with much larger budgets and being able to deliver tangible results for uh, those clients. So that's the reason why I'm uh, looking for a change. Also, I'm looking to buy a house. So uh, that's another one of the main reasons why I think uh, this is something that will help me out. Okay, what type of position are you looking for? Primarily full-time position. Uh, while I am open to uh, contract as well as temp to hire, uh, full-time position is really what I'm seeking. Uh, what is the work atmosphere that you thrive in? So I, I can uh, do well, thrive in pretty much any work environment, be it extremely chaotic, uh, which is oftentimes uh, on the agency side, uh, as well as something that's very, very structured or uh, like in financial services on the client side. So I've seen both sides of that and I've done well in both instances. So I am extremely seasoned, well-rounded, versatile to be able to do well and thrive in both instances. As far as what, uh, which environment is best for me, I kind of like a little bit of both because too, mu too much of a single type of environment can get a little bit, uh, uh, you know, maybe uh, boring or tedious. Uh, so I do like a little bit of both. A little bit of chaos is great to keep you on your toes. Uh, a little bit of structure is great because then the processes are a little bit more streamlined and everyone knows what they're supposed to do. So that's great. So I'd, ideally, I would love a little bit of both. And um, okay, describe a difficult work situation and how, how you overcame it. Okay. If someone was describing you, what three adjectives would they use? Uh, I would say uh, intelligent, smart, creative. Oh, and uh, fun to work with. And how would you best describe your work style? Uh, I think the best way to describe my work style is approaching it from a place of humility where I try and do my very best to make the other person's uh, life much easier, whether that's an agency partner, strategic partner, media partner, client partner, or somebody else, you know, within the organization, within the same team or another team. So basically trying to make that person's life a whole lot easier and make, helping to make them shine because then they feel that they are invested in the outcome, which I'm, you know, looking to, uh, looking to deliver. So, uh, that's, that's the approach that I've used extremely successfully at Mindshare for Unilever, as well as at Citibank, as well as at R Square Media. Uh, so I found that approach works the best. What differentiates, 
uh, you from other candidates. Um, I have had the privilege of working both in North America as well as in Asia. Uh, uh, in India, one of the world's largest markets next to China. Uh, worked with the local brands, regional brands, global brands. Uh, successfully so. I've seen both sides of the fence. I've been an entrepreneur. I've worked for a startup. Uh, worked in financial services. So I have an extremely well-rounded uh, and global exposure expertise, uh, award-winning candidate, uh, ex extremely qualified, uh, have a, two masters, one a master's in global marketing from Emerson College, another master's in management from New Jersey Institute of Technology. So it's definitely qualified, uh, have several uh, seats uh, on various nonprofits like uh, uh, board of director at the at Kids Are Okay, a global nonprofit helping uh, the upliftment of slum kids in India. Uh, sit, sit on the board of uh, John Wilma Pamela Robinson Education Fund, helping kids in New York with continuing ed. Uh, the National Minority Business Council, helping them uh, sh uh, craft and shape their digital agenda. So I've. Uh, I'm certainly extremely, extremely seasoned, extremely fun to work with, get along with practically anyone, hit the ground running. Uh, I'm able to, I'm a quick study of, of any technology and I'm able to uh, really compress the timeline as far as uh, project delivery. Uh, extremely skilled at project management, fun to work with others. I think that pretty much uh, summarizes uh, how I'm different from any other candidate. And as far as describe a difficult situation and how you overcame it, yeah. So there have been many, many instances of uh, people being difficult. That's just the nature of life. So, um, you know, one example that I can think of is, uh, uh, this was for Unilever. This was for a client that had, this was for a product that had never done any digital work at all. It was zilch. like zero absolutely no digital work at all they were that brand was uh, using primarily mainstream media like print outdoor tv etc so <clears throat> so the way that i overcame that was to first of all figure out who the uh, who the product's core target audience is uh, present to the client a, a compelling case as to why uh, new media was uh, would make a lot of sense for that specific product, keeping that specific audience in mind, keeping in mind the audience's uh, uh, media behavior, the media that they consume, the amount of time that they spend on uh, on the internet, on social media, on their phone, and it ended up resulting in in creating a mobile activation for this brand, which was so successful that that activation was then white labeled and used by other skincare brands in that category. Uh, so that just goes to say how one, uh, it's the classic making, uh, uh, making lemonade from lemons be, uh, and working with a near impossible situation and then just turning it around completely and creating a case study of it. In fact, the category manager posted on LinkedIn that uh, after working with him, cre ushered in a new age of innovation as far as new media goes. So that just says volumes for the kind of delivery that happened, the way that I worked with the various category managers on the client's end, as well as internally as well to uh, working successfully with all the agency partners, working well with the media partner, the creative partner, uh, the creative agency, uh, working with the strategy agency, the brand agency, etc., and also ultimately delivering and uh, uh, an end user experience that was amazing, uh, which um, really worked and turned the needle as far as the brand was concerned. Helping with uh, aided and unaided brand recall, top of mind awareness level, uh, intent. Uh, to buy loyalty etc so th that's just one 
example in many where uh, it was a very, very challenging situation from the outset and I just uh, dealt with it in a very pragmatic way and, um, and, and I guess that pragmatism was infectious since the client bought into it and uh, uh, supported that, in, that entire initiative. So that's about it. Uh, yeah, so th I think I've covered all of these 10 questions. Hope this was helpful. Again, Rajiv Jadav, I can be reached anytime on my cell, 516-451-7759.